everybody this is Sherry at djsundry.blogspot.com um, today I just wanted to show you something now if you've seen any of my recent videos you probably remember that I mentioned how I had designed um, some projects on the Cricut craft room and was really frustrated because my Imagine wasn't working correctly well I finally figured it out thanks to the help of the people of ProvoCraft um, I spent several hours just trying to upload and um, update my Imagine. I have had my Imagine for quite some time, probably a year or so, and I don't think I had ever updated the firmware. And that was the problem. None of my regular cr Cricut cartridges, or at least the ones I tried, wouldn't work. And so then I couldn't use them for the projects that I had designed. But it's all fixed now and ready to go. And I just wanted to show you a couple things about the craft room before I do this card. Um, I actually designed this program last, I mean designed this card last week when I thought I was ready to go. And I have to say I've used the design studio several times. I have it and I have some jukeboxes and um, they were fine but from what I've seen other YouTubers do and what I have experienced myself in trying to design a card so far it seems much easier to use the Cricut Craft Room than the Design Studio plus it's free the only disadvantage I can see to that is the fact that you have to be online on the on the Cricut Craft Room so if you are not um, able to be online you might still want to do the design studio I have actually kept the design studio on my computer so that if that were to happen um, I would be ready now I do ask to also say that I went ahead and linked uh, my cartridges to the Cricut craft room because that just makes it easier to to use for me and if I understand it correctly um, now that I have them linked then all I have to do is attach either my Cricut Expression or my Cricut Imagine to my computer and as long as I have an internet connection I don't need to use the cartridges now I could be wrong and if I find out I'm wrong I'll get back to you so today I am going to make a card that I actually designed over the weekend before I got my Imagine updated and um, I designed it in the Cricut craft room and it's using the Cricut Imagine More Cards cartridge. And it's a card that I designed for my sister-in-law. Now, oh, by the way, just so you know, the problem with my Cricut Imagine was it it was so out of date. I basically had to take it completely back to the factory default, completely just start from the very beginning, um, delete all the information on the machine and start over. Once I did that, it was a fairly quick process. It probably took an hour or so. And linking my cartridges once the Imagine was working correctly did not take any time at all. It's not even something that you could even really multitask to do. So if you want to do four or five at a time, if you have a lot of cartridges, that would be fine. I probably have three or four cartridges that I haven't linked yet. Um, but the rest of mine are linked and I would say it took me less than an hour to link them all. It's a very fast process, especially if you have your Cricut cartridges alphabetized because you can go in and set your filter to all cartridges and they come up in alphabetical order. And so I just went right down the line um, and got them going. So just just some tips uh, for me that, that worked really well. So I have my Imagine set up right over here. And I have my project set up, so I'm going to go ahead and see if I am correct and if it's as easy as I thought and um, cut out the pieces to my card and then we'll be back to make a card. Okay, so let's move on through our card. Um, I have the first set. Um, I needed to do this on two different pages because of the size I made the card and everything. And um, so I have the first set prepped and ready. Uh, the second set, well, let's just say my Imagine ate it. Um, I had stepped upstairs to go work on dinner and it 
must have come loose of the board while I was gone. So I'm waiting for that second time for those second pages to load up. And I have to say, it's taking it a really long time now. I don't know, maybe it's the time of day. You know, um, in some time zones, people are maybe just relaxing for the evening and starting. So maybe that's why it's taking so long. But for some reason, it does seem to take a very long time to load for the Cricut Craft Room to speak to the Imagine. But that's okay. No big, no big hurry. So I cut the snail from the Imagine More cartridge and I cut out, for this part, I cut it out in layers. I cut the postage stamp and then the snail pieces and I'm going to adhere the snail together. Now I have already put him on foam tape and this is going to be a pretty thick layer. See, so we've got the double layer there and then I've also done the foam tape on the back. But this one I want to do a little bit differently. Um, I When I designed this, I when I did the layer, I pulled out the wording that was over the stamp down here at the bottom because it said something about, I can't even remember what the original image said, and I wanted to stamp my own. And so, um, and then this is this, the, the next layer, it's a pink layer. And what I want to do with this is I actually want to get my ATG and I'm going to adhere it, but instead of centering it like you would expect to see on a postage stamp, and this may look a little strange when, as far as the layering, but I, I kind of wanted that image to show, but you know, that will look a little stranger than I thought, so maybe I'll just leave it just like that. I'll go ahead and center that on, and I want this layer to be really flat because I'm going to stamp, but the words I'm going to stamp um, actually some of the word will be on the pink and some on the blue so I need this to be just as flat as I can get it so what I did now is I took the um, from mice and little men from K Andrew designs because I wanted the words I'm a and I didn't have a stamp that said I'm a so I took I'm all ears and what I'm going to do is I've got it all masked off um, and so that all that's showing is I'm A. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp up that image, Get be pretty generous with the ink because I'm going to need a few seconds here. And then I will pull off my masking and set that aside. And then all I have up here to stamp is I'm A. And I'm going, it's going to be up here kind of in the corner because I need plenty of room for my snail to show. So there you see way up in the corner up here it says I'm A. And then down here I used All About Animals also from K. Andrew Designs. And well, I'll just show you that image. Although I have a feeling you can kind of guess where this card is going here with the snail and me changing it up. Slowpoke. This actually, this card is for my sister-in-law whose birthday was the 30th or the 31st. I think it's the 30th of March. So I'm obviously way behind schedule here. So I wanted her to just know I'm a slowpoke, although she's probably figured that out by now. So we've got I'm a slowpoke, and then that gives me plenty of room to put my little snail right in the center there. So there we have um, part of our card ready to go. And when the rest of it's cut and ready, we'll get the rest of the card put together. Okay, so we're back and our pieces have finally printed and we're ready to go with it. Now, um, this is a tip that I saw someone else do on YouTube and I don't know who it is or I would link you to it. But um, I was looking for some tips on how to use the Imagine and um, I found this tip. They switch the um, pattern out. And that's one of the beauties of the Imagine. So this is the way the piece was originally um, designed on the cartridge. You've got your green, you've got your pink flowers, you've got your blue stripe. And this is the way I switched it out with a lighter base. And the reason I wanted to do that is because I want it to be light enough that I can write my message over the top. And that was the other tip that I got from the same person is they made the, the this one just a little bit smaller than this one. And then they cut this into three pieces. Now I'm going to have to hand cut it because for some reason I didn't set up my layers correctly um, to get 
the um, sizing that I wanted but by it being a little bit smaller that will allow for a little bit of extra room to fold without making a mess um, with the card it'll just make it a little bit easier to fold and that was a great tip and again I wish I remembered who I had seen that on because I have no clue but it was a great tip and I'm glad that they did that so we've got the three pieces here now this is going to be my inside of my card and this is where I want to stamp happy birthday so again I'm going to take my black Excelsior ink pad and I have this stamp from Stampendous um, and it says happy birthday and I'm going to do that next just to have it out of the way and done and I'm going to put it kind of right on the bottom just like so happy birthday only a couple weeks late but still happy birthday although other years they haven't gotten cards so you know maybe that's better than none right so then I'm going to take this and um, do a score mark or score on my line get it lined up here so that I can fold the card easier that just makes it a little bit simpler for me um, I'm not a very straight folder and so anything that I can do to help myself out is a good thing so we've got that and I'll just grab my bone folder here and let's go ahead and fold that in just like so and this card is actually coming together we're almost done now I want to do the opposite so this is the outside of the card and so I'm going to put the green on this part here and then on the green side I'll put the blue just like that so we'll just grab our um, ATG and get all the pieces adhered down sorry about that I keep hitting my camera here for some reason I have had more trouble with this ATG gun this time I don't know if I just didn't load it correctly or what I didn't do, but I am just having fits with getting it to do what I want it to do. It seems like it's developed a mind of its own. All right, so I'm going. There will be a little bit of a white border around the edge because I did make this just slightly smaller. I believe I cut the height of this at four, um, yeah, four and a half inches. Well, let's measure it so that it would fit an A2 size of so four and a quarter inches so that it would fit it an A2 size card and so um, that's how I set that up and actually I have I'll be right back I need to fix actually rather than fix the ATG let's just get this little Tombow Mono because my ATG gun is I'm going to have to unload it and reload it I think I'll tell you if you don't have an ATG I highly recommend it it's I don't it's not very often that I have trouble with my ATG at all it's just such a nice nice tool to have um, it does a great job and these little Tombos I think would be a great I love to have them handy um, and I love to use them they're very simple to use and if I didn't have an ATG, it would probably be my go-to adhesive. But since I have an ATG, I really like it. Okay, so that says happy birthday. Now this one is just going to go over the top and cover that up. Um, I thought about maybe um, putting foam tape but since I have the snail on two layers of foam tape as it is I think I'm just going to glue it down flat because I am mailing this card I don't want it to have too much bulk um, it's already going to charge cost a little extra postage and that's something to be thinking about when you're doing your cards is you are going to have to be careful about the extra bulk that you have so there we go we have our happy birthday on the inside of our card here and then on the outside we have our little snail and that was my very first project with the Cri Cricut craft room so thanks for watching I'll get it all figured out and we'll have some fun in the future with some other projects so have a great day